What should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in my bio to three Oracle decks that I've designed, currently 50% off as they are going to be discontinued within the next eight days. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? What is the truth about this connection? Let's pull Oracle and then we will pull Tarot. So Spirit, for the viewer, what is the truth about this connection? What is the truth about this connection? What do we need to know, please? What do we need to know? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got Divine Intervention. We've got inner work, divinely guided, and captivating. Two cards here speaking of the divine. I am actually feeling two completely different storylines here. And maybe we will see the link when we pull the tarot cards. But divinely guided, there may be something that was very serendipitous about this meeting and you felt that you were divinely guided to be together. And that could certainly play into this divine intervention. The flip side that I'm also seeing about this is you may feel like there is divine intervention that is happening at this moment. Perhaps you are feeling that there are shifts and that there are changes that are happening but in order for them to fully manifest, there is a mighty miracle or a divine intervention that you are hoping and praying for with this divinely guided card. Certainly for those that this resonates with, it feels like you have been asking for some sort of guidance. It feels like there is chemistry between the both of you with this captivating card, finding one another very attractive and there is much allure between the both. With the divinely guided and the divine intervention, it feels like that there has been some soul searching that has had to be done. And that's what I'm picking up with, with this inner work card. The uncertainties and the unknown have brought emotions to the surface and really having to look deep within. The fact that this inner work illustration is that of a circle suggests that perhaps you were looking at repeated cycles and doing a deep evaluation. So currently what I'm getting is that this connection is very much prompting a lot of soul searching at this particular time. Let's pull some tarot cards and see. So Spirit, may we have a look? What is the truth of this connection? What do we need to know in regards to this connection, please? Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, let's have a peek. We have got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, the fool in reverse, the five of swords, the lovers, the devil, the hierophant, the moon and the two of wands. That is so many major arcana. Suggesting that the connection is a very big deal. Let me just lay them out and have a little peek here. Quite a complex little storyline is what I'm picking up here. Okay, there is definitely this looking into the future and maybe having to leave people, places, and things behind. But with the Fool card in reverse, there is also some uncertainty of how this is going to move forward. Let's go into a little more depth with these cards. Let's start here with the Lovers and the Devil. Two cards that actually have a lot of similarities. If we look at the characters here, they are the same characters that are also here in the Devil card. So on one hand, we do see this divine love here with the lover's card, but the devil card, we also see that captivation. 
the captivating card that we had seen earlier, talking about this allure and talking about this attraction. But I am also seeing something else that that captivating card could potentially have meant. Do we see how there are these chains from one to another? And with this, someone feeling captive. And I'm not getting that this is the energy that you feel towards one another. But what I am getting with the Five of Swords is that this could potentially be a connection where there is maybe a third party situation going on. As the Five of Swords does indicate that there is a need to leave behind a person, a place, a thing such as a mindset really is talking about an obstacle that needs to be overcome. In a traditional deck, you would see three men on a beach and one of the men is carrying three swords. And the three swords that this man is carrying, to me, indicates the three of swords in tarot, which represents heartache, grief, disappointment. Therefore, I feel that there is some sort of challenge that you're having within this dynamic. And that is perhaps why there is this request for some sort of divine intervention and this deep, deep inner work that is happening at this time. The Hierophant can talk of commitments, either current commitments that one or both of you are in, but this could equally be talking about soul ties or soul bonds that you may have with this person commitments that were made prior to coming to earth. I see these two beings in the forefront as being you and the person that has been spoken of in this reading. Two who look very similar, perhaps talking about twins of some kind, twin flames potentially, especially as they have these little flames that are coming from their hats. And I'm almost feeling like this is meant to be representing the divine at this current moment. And we can see from the body language of these two that they are in appeal for divine intervention. We then have the moon card. The moon card is talking about the unknown, the unseen and the psyche, the intuitive thoughts. And there very much could be that you have this intuition around this dynamic of this relationship and what you feel it ought to be and the physical 3d reality at this time may be not showing the evidence of your intuitive thoughts and feelings this card is also telling you very much to listen to your intuition we can see that there is a path and this path goes between the two mountains, often implicated by towers, which talk about shifts and changes. To me, these mountains represent obstacles that are to be overcome. But once again, there is this essence of having to have faith in the unseen prior to it manifesting. The Two of Wands is that card that is speaking about looking into the future making decisions and moving forward. So I'm very much getting that you are wanting to move forward and that your intuition is telling you which direction you ought to be going. But there is also this reluctance with the fool in reverse. The fool in the upright position is talking about taking that leap of faith. Almost the essence of enjoying the journey as well as the destination. With the Fool coming in reverse, it almost gives that energy of hesitation or that inability to move forward because of indecision and perhaps not wanting to be the Fool. There certainly is a lot to unpack within this particular reading. And like I said before, it is very complex. And of course, the outcome is going to be different for each one of you, but Yes, I would sum this up by saying it's a complex, a complex dynamic between the two of you and there is something that is being brought to you by the divine with this lover's card. If you would like to have your own private reading, then there is a link in my bio to same day readings. 
a reminder again of oracle cards being on